Hey, this is Jay from Stitch in Time, here to give you a little lesson on the Handy Quilter on how to realign our patterns. We're going to look at three different ways that we're going to uh, line these patterns back up. Like, let's say you're embroidering your quilt and all of a sudden the thread breaks and you don't catch it till it's right in time. And then maybe your gears disengage or they're re-engaged later or you've only got halfway through your quilt and now you need to be finishing it. How do you line the saved pattern you have up with the one that's actually uh, on your quilt. That's what we're going to look at three different ways. So let's start right away. In this uh, selection, we're going to be looking at this curly Q pattern that we have on the on the screen, and it's also down here in our uh, quilt. We already have it stitched out there. Now let's say this pattern was going to continue on. How do we line this up? Well, it's pretty it's pretty simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I left my thread tails attached because I knew I might need to go back and check this. It, may, it helps me find this, the start point. Now, by the way, my laser is blinking only because it looks like that because of the um, photography. It, it doesn't actually blink in real life. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll put my, knee, my laser pointer exactly on the start point. And now I'm going to go back up to my screen and I'm going to go up to the Modify tab. That's up here at the top, and I'm going to make sure in the ribbon bar to select Reposition. So I select the Reposition, and then where is my reference point? Well, I put my crosshair, my laser pointer, right at this start point. So this is the start of the design, so as long as I line those two up, it should line up the rest of it, or close. So I'll go over here to the right side, and I will select Start Point. And notice, where did it go? Well, I'm going to zoom to that design. I'm going to zoom, uh, zoom to my design that's down in here. And look at that. It's right there. It's lined up. Um, so that, that is all ready to go. And then now I can simply come down here to the end if I have a pattern that keeps on going. And it will allow me to line that up exactly. So that's how we would do the first one. It's just simply finding the start point and getting it lined up selecting start point up here in the reposition tab we select start point and that lines it up so now i'm going to move on to the next one in just a little bit so hang tight so that was the first way was just by lining up the start point the second way we're going to do this is to find a clear corner or something definitive on the pattern that we can uh we can connect up with so here's how it works if you look down at the pattern that i have on my quilt i have these uh inverted hearts that are really kind of cool and so I know that I have a, a sharp point here a sharp point here another one here another one here and I basically need to choose one of them as my reference points so I'm gonna come down to if you look at it, here's the first one second one I'm gonna come down here to the third one and I am going to put my again put my laser pretty close to that and make sure that it's fairly fairly close to that now I'm gonna go up to my screen and notice that I, I have two buttons over here. I have a pan and I have a select. Pan just moves the whole screen around where it's at. But if I go select, I can grab this design and drag it to where I want. Now, uh, make sure that my crosshairs or my laser pointer is exactly on that tip. And I know that it's on this point right here. So what I will do is I will bring this down and get it really close. And now notice I have these nudge tools. We're going to use these again on this one and the other one because I'm going to zoom in. And notice how when I zoom in here, I'm going to get my pan out just a little bit so we can see a little better uh, what that's happening. I can zoom way in here and I can just nudge this design a little bit left and right. I'm going to put this, oops, I'm doing this backwards. And I can get this exactly on that Oh, I've I got, got to get this backwards here. There we go. Now it's exactly lined up with it. Now it's all completely repositioned. I don't have to be doing anything else, and I can do my new start and, new, new start and end and keep right on going with my pattern. My pattern does not continue off on here because I didn't do a whole bunch of repeats. I just did this amount, but you can imagine if I had 25 more repeats, I can do this. I would do the same thing as far as uh, running off the edge. I just didn't want to run that much out on the quilt here. So it's very simple. Again, I'm using reference points on here to choose one that I can dial in exactly on it 
and then using my little nudge buttons, I can get that uh, perfectly lined up. Okay, the third one is what happens when you have a design that's sort of like this? You know, you have a lot of curves on it, but you don't have a lot of definitive points. In fact, there's, if it's stipple, there's not supposed to be any sharp points. How do you find where to reference this so that you can tie into this? Especially if you've been doing this the whole way across your quilt, you don't want to go the whole way back to the start point because if that's eight feet away, you know, it might be off by just a little bit till you get down here. We want to line this up right close to where our thread broke or where something else happened. And if there's no clear points, how are we supposed to do that? Well, it's, it's fairly simple. We're going to use the same tool we used before as the nudge tool, but we're going to use different reference points. So watch, watch how this works. I'm going to zoom into my pattern here again. So on my screen, I can, I can see my pattern here. And on my, on my uh, quilt, I can see that I've got a low point here a low point here and a low point over here. So I'm going to say that let, let's go down here to this one and I'm going to uh, use this point, part here. Now, so what I'm looking for here is, is two things. I have vertical spaces and I have horizontal spaces and I'm going to line up the horizontal first or the one that goes, I'm going to align this Actually, it's, I, I got that backwards. I'm going to line the height by lining this up here first, and then we're going to move up here. We're going to get left and right by changing it here. So here's how it's going to happen. I'm going to put, again, put my laser dot at the bottommost part of this curve, okay? I'm going to put that right down, down there. Now I'm going to go back up to my screen, and that part I know is right here. So let's zoom out here and find out where is my crosshairs. Oh, my crosshairs are over here. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag that over and get that really close. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in on it. And you notice that if you zoom in, ah, it goes off the screen. I'm going to change to pan, bring it back into the, into this, into the view. And I'm going to zoom in a little more. And now I can nudge this design up just a little bit. And maybe about right there. And notice how this, let's give me, give me get my crosshairs back. Notice how this curve is exactly matching this line here, okay? I don't know where it is left and right, but as long as I have this whole curve just touching this horizontal line, that's perfect, okay? So I know I'm, I'm fairly close there because if I looked back on my quilt, you can see that, you know, it's somewhere in here, but I don't know exactly where, okay? So now, I want to go up and I want to use this vertical spot here as the left and right reference. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to find a part of that stitching that is going straight up and down. And I'm going to dial in and put it exactly on there. And now look back on my screen here. I'm going to zoom in again. Maybe I got to go up just a little bit higher because it looks like it's just a little bit wider at this point. There we go. And notice how it's off by just a little bit here. So now I can take my design and nudge it over and look at that. Now it's right on. So let's just verify this. We're going to go and look. Does it match here? And does it match here? So I can look at my screen down here. Does it match there? Yes, both the screen and the quilt match there. Let's go up and check another spot. Ah, it matches exactly there. And so now, at that point, I am able to uh, take my resume and keep going. So, that is how we reposition. That is a quick way of how you can get these three different patterns to get them lined up exactly where you want to be. Stay tuned, we're going to have more Lessons coming.